Hello friends, this is Vinit Agrawal. You just put your hand at your heart because I am just creating a basic calculator application in C Sharp for you. For understanding the making of this application, please watch this video continuously and very seriously. This video will help you to create the smart calculator if you want to create in C Sharp window application. For doing this, friends, I have opened a new window application in C Sharp project. Here, a form one is shown. First, let me do some changes in the property of this form. I just change the text property with the, my smart Kelsey. I'm changing the background color of this form with different color. Suppose, all right, I'm using this color. Now, I take a group box. Group box is an object which can contain other objects. And whenever we move the group box, all the component given inside it will be moved in the same direction, in the same fashion as the group box being dragged. Change the text property of group box. Suppose Kelsey. Now I'm taking a label. I'm doing some changes in the property of label object. First, let me change the name of this label. I'm just giving the LVL screen. I'm changing the background color of label and I'm giving the white color. Change the border style with the fix 3D. Change the auto size to false so that I can change the width and height of this label as I want. And the text property I'm changing with a blank. All right. Now, one more property which I have to change that is the text alignment because calculator content will be shown from right to left. So middle right. And again, the font property which must be changed. Let assume bold and 14 is the size. All right. Now I'm just Taking a button for digits. Let me do some changes in the property of button. All right. Let's change the flat style property of the button with the flat and the background color of button. Let me change with the some other color so that it will it will be shown differently. All right text property of this button value zero I'm copying it then paste now I'm copying both the buttons and paste copying all four buttons using control C then control V will paste all buttons and I have to take two more buttons copy paste all right change the text property value with two three four five six seven eight and nine all right save it now we have to handle a composite event on the buttons select all the buttons go in the click event and put the name of the event procedure get digits it's not necessary to give this name you can also give other name just change the value of this it is five i have done some mistake inside this five and then six all right inside the code window in the body of get digits, just put the code LVL screen dot text plus equals to plus equals to means whatever text given over LVL screen level will be concatenated with a new text and the new text is 
button sender this code i have explained in my previous videos dot text through this way when we run this application and when we click on button the entire text will be concatenated on the screen all right so through this way we could concatenate the values of the button on the screen now we have to take some other buttons for objects also so just drag another button and create the series of that button all right i am just doing the same thing which i have did with the previous button series here i just change the background color bit more better all right and then change the text property with the plus operator copy and then paste using the control c and control v change the property with minus by mistake i clicked on double click on group box because it was selected now select these two buttons paste it and one more button is required this one yeah plus minus into division and modular division all right just select all five buttons and go inside the click event and give another name get operator again i would say that it's not necessary i just want to give the more meaningful name that's why i have given get operator here we just store the operator value for storing this i am taking the string variable using the small string all right now op is equals to the same exercise must be done over here sender then text using this i can get the operator value in ob variable friends let me run this first suppose i press the button contains the value 5 then click equal and then click button 3 what must be happen this 5 must be removed over here and 3 will be displayed we want to display 3 over here instead of displaying 53 for doing this we will do what take another variable of boolean type let as you state as the variable and the initial value is false when the operator is clicked we will change the value of status with true so that whenever the get digit function is called it first check if the status is true means is operator clicked if it's true then whatever text is given in alvel screen must be saved into a separate variable first then clear the screen and then get the new value of the button whatever clicked at that time for doing this i am just taking another variable of india type let assume priv priv is the variable which will store the previous value of alvel screen and it must be converted into the integer first for doing this you just use in dot parse in dot parse is a function which will convert the string into integer but here it must be remember the string must be given in numerical format if it is not it will create an exception after copying this alvel screen must be cleaned and then it will work as we liked earlier okay now run this application again five into four yes it works now we have to do what we have to put another button which will give the result and on this button we will show the equal operator for doing this 
just take another button all right again i am changing the background color of this button it's not necessary to change uh, the background color every time with of the component but it is a good practice if we you know, differentiate these uh, series of components or the group of components with different colors so i'm using another color of uh, similar shades okay in the text property i'm just putting the equal operator over here just double click on this button and do what let's check if the value of operator is equal if the value of operator is plus then lvl screen dot text must be in dot parse lvl screen text it means the current text plus previous text or it's better if we write in this manner it will be more better if i write like prep plus the result of this is integer so just convert into the string likewise we have to write almost similar code with uh, for other operators also minus put minus over here into division and then modular division all right after that the value of status must be true okay let's run this application 5 into 4 is equals to 20 yeah we got it so friends through this video i think you people must be able to create a basic calculator many of the candidates must think about this why i have left this area i leave this area for you people for creating this application for creating the smart calculator it means you can create more buttons for uh, memory for uh, scientific calculations so this area can be filled by these buttons i think you people must enjoy this video and in next video i'll create more better application for you people this video will help many of the students who are preparing the projects like this to create the calculator to create uh, simple games like tic tac toe or uh, uh, games like uh, a jigsaw puzzle so many more games or these type applications can be created in c sharp very easily so you people must enjoy this video i'm very much sure about this what i'll do in my next video don't forget thank you